James xin kính chào quý vị khán giả của Việt TV Canada. Xin chào đón quý vị đến với chương trình Political Talk. Khách mời của chúng tôi hôm nay là ông Kerry Vandenberg. Hello, Kerry. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to interview with us today. Hi, James. Thanks for having me, and hello to everyone in the Vietnamese community as well. Uh, first question I'd like to ask you is, uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and why should our Viet TV Canada viewers vote for you? Well, I think people in the riding will, will see that we have a lot in common. Uh, my family comes from uh, two diverse sides, uh, Dutch, Ukrainian. Both sides emigrated to Canada during World War II. On my Dutch side, uh, we left due to the Nazi occupation in the Netherlands during that time. And my great-grandfather was actually killed in the concentration camp at which my grandmother was interned as well. Uh, on the other side of my family, the Ukrainian side, we left because of the Russian occupation that was happening at the same time in which the communists took our farmland. Both sides of the family, we, we relocated to Canada like many people have, uh, especially in our riding, and we started with nothing and we built a life for ourselves in Canada and we've had amazing lives here. I, I have 80, 80 cousins. Uh, <laughs> something that would have been very, very difficult to maintain uh, overseas. And uh, I, I think people will, I, I can really speak to the people in this riding that share experiences like that, given that this is one of the most ethnically diverse communities in all of Canada. Well, I also served for four years as an armored reconnaissance officer in the military. It was a very rewarding experience for me, and I, I I appreciate the time I had in the forces, but I also appreciate more the level of commitment that the Harper government has put into eradicating ISIS, personally uh, because I know uh, a large number of people who are currently engaged in the mission against ISIS, and I feel like I can relate to the security concerns that all Canadians are having as we face potential domestic terrorist threats. Thanks, uh, Kerry. What has your experience been with the Vietnamese com community and how do you plan to work with the Vietnamese community in the future? I've already been working with the Vietnamese community quite a bit. Just two weeks ago, I attended the Vietnamese Association of Toronto's community picnic. I had the pleasure there of meeting with Pat Nguyen, the president of the association, as well as a, a large number of community leaders from the Vietnamese community. And it, it was amazing to see the, the turnout was something around 600 people. I saw a lot of families. I saw a lot of seniors and quite a few veterans, which I, I, I'm pleased to see as a former member of the Canadian Forces myself. Uh, this question, next question is, uh, you know, related to students uh, with uh, school debts. There are many Vietnamese students that have graduated from university or college with large school debts. What are your plans should you be elected uh, to help these unfortunate students with these large school debts? Uh, well, I can personally attest that it's quite a, quite a good chunk of change, these t uh, tuition rates these days. Um, I have a degree in psychology and neuroscience from McMaster University, as well as I understand that you and I actually have the same degree from the Shulok School of Business, which is the MBA program. And it, <laughs> it certainly is quite expensive. But the, the focus of this government is to make sure that for new students, the jobs are actually there when you graduate so you can pay off those loans and pay them off very quickly. As well as another uh, few measures we've already implemented, including the Home Buyers Plan, which we plan to increase from 25000 to 30000 a year, correction, $35,000 a year, as well as making the Home Renovation Tax Credit permanent, which uh, was done to quite, quite a bit of success. I know my sister, she uses it, she flips homes for a living. And to have anywhere between $1,000 and $5,000 to renovate a home can, can really help new families who are starting up looking to buy their first home, you know, get, get a leg up and, and really get that home that they want so that they can start their families. Uh, just one more question, Kerry. Many Vietnamese Canadians are big on volunteer work. Can you just tell us a little bit about your volunteer experience? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I worked for three years at a, the St. Joseph's Hospice in Sarnia, which is where I was recruited into the Canadian Armed Forces. There I cared for and worked with seniors as well as uh, medically infirmed uh, terminally ill patients as well. I also have some experience working in animal shelters as well in the same area. 
And for the St. Joseph's Hospice, it reminds me a lot of a Vietnamese community project here, which is the Golden Age Retirement Community, which is awaiting a permit, permit to be constructed. And that's a cause that I, I would very much be in support of. I know in this riding especially, there's a, a huge shortage of senior retirement facilities and long-term care facilities. Some of the wait times can be up to three years long. I'd like to see, uh, if elected, these permits expedited to get these facilities up, which would create a large number of short-term construction jobs as well as long-term uh, work placements and, and long-term careers for a number of people working in the health sector in, in our riding. Thank you, Kerry, once again for taking the time out to interview with Via TV Canada. Good luck with your campaign. Thanks for having me, James, and thank you to Via TV Canada and to the Vietnamese community as a whole. I look forward to seeing everyone out on the campaign trail. Quý vị vừa theo dõi chương trình Political Talk cùng với James Nguyen. Cảm ơn sự quan tâm theo dõi và xin hẹn gặp lại trong chương trình kỳ tới.